Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you my recommendations for the Sephora sale, which is tomorrow or today, depending on when this video is gonna go up. Now, before I get into this video, I do wanna address the fact that I have been gone for about a month now. I've had a lot going on. I've recently launched my brand, which is really exciting. The link will be in the description box down below. It's readthelabel.com, and you can check out the Instagram as well, which is Again, the same, it's read the label. Now, as far as content creation goes, I've just been so unmotivated. I mean, we are in tough times. It is a pandemic. It has just affected my energy in the worst way. But slowly but surely, I am climbing out of this rut. I've had like creator's block. I've been unmotivated. I've been sad. It's just a lot of emotions going on, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But I do hope that you are staying at home and you are staying safe. I hope you are well. And I just hope that we can get on the other side of this thing sooner than later. But this video is meant to be very lighthearted, so let's jump right in. So the first product that I have to talk about today falls in the skincare category, and that is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Now, this is an essential for someone that wears makeup. I know, I know, a lot of us use makeup wipes, but I implore you to stop using makeup wipes. I have said it from the very beginning. I think that makeup wipes are for convenience, like for travel, things like that. But as far as removing makeup every single time, no. You are just dragging at your skin with these wipes and it's just like a no-no. Like I don't care how gentle the wipes are. Why, why, why even buy wipes when there are things like this that exist? You know what I mean? So what this pretty much does, it just melts your makeup away. I mean, you don't have to use anything else. This is taking it all off. And this is all you need as far as like a makeup remover goes. So no other micellar waters, nothing else, like just this and you're good to go. So if you are someone that wears makeup a lot, like, or even three to five times a week, get your hands on this. This also comes in travel size too. You guys know how I feel about travel size. If it comes in a travel size, I probably will have it in a travel size first before I get the full size. So give it a try and stop using wipes. So the next product is one I'm not sure why I didn't mention in last year's Sephora recommendations because I've been using this for years and that is my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. So I'm not really sure what it is about this because the ingredients are very similar to Fix Plus if I'm not mistaken, but there's something about this that just does so much more than Fix Plus. I think it truly is a primer in a sense because there's something about this that really helps my makeup look better and last longer. And I mean, I use this in every single makeup routine. And if I don't, it's because I forgot because it does live in my fridge. But honestly, this is very worth it. Again, this comes in travel size. So, you know, if you're just like, mm, I don't know about this, then you could always just give it a try. Their travel size is a good amount. I imagine it's half the size, um, but definitely a product that I think is worth it. It's very essential in my makeup routine, so just saying. So next up is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Now, I don't really use primers anymore, if I'm being honest. Now this one I have like, I'm almost out of this. There's like just a smidge left at the bottom. So I'm considering just rebuying the travel size, but like I was saying, I don't really use primers anymore. I usually use something that's like a SPF and a primer or a moisturizer and a primer, like the Smashbox Primerizer, which I mentioned in last year's recommendations. I usually go for things like that. But with this primer, I just feel like it does such a good job. It does act as like a glue pretty much for your makeup. It does help your makeup stay on and it makes it go on really nicely as well. It's a very weird formula, but definitely worth it. Pick up the travel size if you're not quite sure, but highly recommend this. All right, and next is another product by Milk Makeup and that is their tattoo stamps. So this is kind of like a random recommendation, but I really do love their tattoo stamps and I do want to get more they have all types of like different shapes and stuff you can get. Today I'm wearing the star over here. But these I think are really cool like to incorporate into like a really simple look or you can be really creative and just like go crazy and put these like all over your face. You can put these on your hands I've seen. If you just like to add little touches like this to your makeup like me, then you'll love these. And like I said, they come in so many different like shapes and stuff, but yeah. 
I recommend these, these are cute. So the next product is one that you probably saw coming and that is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation. Now this one I won't go into any detail because I do have a full review on this foundation if you wanna check it out, but just know it is such a beautiful foundation, like absolutely stunning on the skin. It is truly a second skin type of foundation, but this foundation is so expensive. Like, ooh, I believe it's $68, so we could just round that up to 70. So if there was any a time to get this foundation, it is definitely now during the sale. All right, and the next product is an oldie but goodie. I did mention this in my favorite bronzers and highlighters video, but this is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. And I still love the Fenty Beauty bronzer, which I did recommend in my last year's video, but this one I just find myself reaching for a little bit more and that's because of the actual formula so as i mentioned in that favorites video this is like a gel powder hybrid so that is what gives it that really natural skin like look and the fact that this is waterproof too is a major win when we can finally go to the beach and pools again so the only thing i will say about this bronzer is there's about like five or six shades so there's definitely room for major improvement as far as the shades go. But I know for me, um, this one is in the shade 35i and 30m also works for my complexion. So I can use two of the five or six shades that they have, but that's my complexion. So they need more shades, but it doesn't take away that this product is really beautiful and I do recommend it. All right, and the next product is the NARS Liquid Blush. This one I have raved about enough, so I will also not go into detail about this. Um, it does work for like combination oily skin, so it's not gonna make you like super shiny or anything. It is nicely pigmented in a way where you can't overdo it. Like it's really hard to overdo. This product also lasts a really long time, so that makes it a major win. I mean, I use this all the time and I can't even tell that it's been touched at all so that's good if you're someone that's into liquid and cream products then you'll really like this blush uh, they do have a few other colors it's not like a huge range I really wish they did come out with like more colors especially like brown girl friendly colors and I'm still on the lookout for that hot tin roof shade like it's like a red type of color still on the lookout for that one but yeah highly recommend this blush all right, the next two products are actually like beauty tools, I guess we can call it. And the first of the two is the Fenty Beauty Little Precision Sponge Duo. And ever since I bought these, I have used them. This one I actually use for blending out my concealer under my eyes. And this one I actually use to set my concealer under my eyes. And the fact that they're sold together is even better. They do work together really well. I mean, of course you can use them for other things. Um, I do wet them as well, and they don't like grow that much. They grow like a pinch in size. I just really like the idea of having a sponge for concealer and a sponge for setting powder. I think it just keeps things like nice and clean and separate. Definitely a product not talked about enough. These are pretty essential. Like I, I feel like I'm talking about like essential products. These are pretty essential. I mean, I use these in every single makeup application. So good product to get your hands on, especially during the sale. And the last recommendation that I have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills tweezers. Talk about essential. I don't know what I would do without these tweezers. Um, the pink one I actually keep in my bag. This one is a little bit dulled out because I've had this one for actual years. So it's a little bit dull now. And the black one is my newer one. I feel like they're all black now, but I still see the pink ones. If you are someone like me that grooms your own brows, then these are the best tweezers. Like, I don't care, I don't care. These are the goat as far as tweezers go. I've used Tweezerman. I've used other tweezers just in general and just nothing compares to the Anastasia ones. They're just perfect and precise and sharp and just exactly what you need to get any stuff stubborn hair from the root just out. I feel like even if you're not someone that does your own brows, everyone needs a pair of tweezers. There's always something that someone needs to tweeze. So definitely recommend them. And while they're on sale, I would get my hand on one. So last year when I concluded my video for my recommendations, I did say that I wasn't quite sure if I was gonna get anything. Now this year is different. I do have a few things that I will be getting. 
And the first is the Pat McGrath Concealer. I definitely wanna give that a try. The second is the Fenty Beauty Cream Blushes. Definitely have my eye on two shades. Um, the Rose Latte and the Daiquiri Dip. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna get Daiquiri Dip just yet because from what I have seen, that one seems to be like a really intense and bright blush and I'm not sure if I want that yet. But the Rose Latte looks really pretty and natural. I don't know if it's gonna be like deep enough for my complexion, but I mean, we'll see. The next product that I wanna get my hands on is the Patrick Ta Brow Shaping Wax. And that one is just really intriguing to me. Um, if you guys don't know, Patrick Ta is hands down one of my favorite celebrity makeup artists. And I just really love the super feathered natural brow look. So his shaping wax looks like that is what you can get. So I will be giving that a try. Um, so I'm super excited for that. And the last product is one that isn't new like at all. It's the Fenty Beauty Precision Sponge, which is their single one, the one that's like larger and just, I mean, you know, you know the one. And that's kind of it for newer products. Um, everything else is just gonna be repurchases, but uh, yeah, that is everything. Now, it's no surprise that Sephora is doing this sale now that everyone is coming into their stimulus checks and also brands launching their products on April 17th. Like, we see you. Like, tax refunds, stimulus checks, like, we see you brands, we're not fooled. But anyways, however you choose to spend your money is entirely up to you. These are just some recommendations, some suggestions, and just some things that I will be picking up. Let me know if you'll be picking up anything from this sale. I also love recommendations, so definitely leave those down below. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and check out my other videos while you're here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. You guys know why I have this wrap on, like, you already know what the deal is. My neighbors decided to cut their grass the moment I started filming. <laughs> like, it was God's plan for me to remove my nails last year. Okay. Where's the button? What the? <laughs>